Shabbat Shalom, good evening, and welcome to Shabbat Services. Uh, we are so glad that you are joining us tonight. Uh, it's a webinar-style Shabbat Services, so you only get to see our, uh, uh, the clergy, our YLE team, as well as our uh, high school seniors that have been with us for so many years, and we get to honor them this evening. Uh, we'll have the opportunity to see each other's faces uh, later at the end of services during our virtual Oneg, but we are so glad that we get to join together in Shabbat. We begin with a song. So the song that you have to sing with full heart, it is a spiritual and, uh, and clapping really helps. And so here it goes. I want everyone to join me. I want to hear somebody sing. I want to hear somebody sing down in the valley and over yonder i want to hear somebody sing i want to hear somebody pray i want to hear somebody pray down in the valley and over yonder i want to hear somebody pray I want to hear, come on, somebody sing. I want to hear somebody sing down in the valley and over yonder. I want to hear somebody sing. I want to hear somebody pray. I want to hear somebody pray. Down in the valley and over yonder, I want to hear somebody pray. Shabbat Shalom again. We invite you to wish each other Shabbat Shalom in the, uh, in the chat box. If you are watching from Westfield or Cranford or Scotch Plains, please let us know. If you're watching from someplace else, throughout New Jersey, around the world. We invite you to share with us where you're watching from, if you're watching from outside on this beautiful Shabbat day. I've been thinking a lot about what it means to listen and listen to the stories of people in our own community, people in the surrounding community, people that I don't know. And part of Shabbat is to really understand to take a moment to feel perhaps comfortable, but also uncomfortable. And that's what I've been struggling with, and that's what I've been doing this past couple of weeks as we've seen the Black Lives Matters movement, as well as we've sat with people who are struggling with COVID-19, um, as well as we, we should listen to our high school students um, whose graduation is not what they had anticipated. And so I offer this blessing as we begin Shabbat services this evening. If you listen, listen. If you listen, you will hear. Shabbat descend from her distant place, gently clearing the air of the steady buzz of the mundane, gently inviting you to stillness, gently preparing the space for the arrival of holiness. If you listen, listen. If you listen, you will hear the arrival of luminous wonder, a radiance of glory that touches your heart so that love pulses through your veins. The gates of your soul burst open. You run through them, skipping, singing. Maher Ahuv, hurry, beloved. How long since your hands touched mine? How long since your lips brushed these tired eyes? How long since I rested in you? Kiva Moed, for the time has come. The time has come to reunite. And tears of surrender, shimmering with the taste of honey, will pour to you like grace from God's ancient well. kime olam. If you listen, listen. Listen. We continue with the words of Lechado D on page 138, if you're following along in the Sidor. 
We'll sing verses one, two, five, and nine. On the final verse, I invite you to rise, face any door or window, and welcome your neighbor, or perhaps the Sabbath bride as well. be seated. We have some nice Shabbats from Edison as well as Rahway. We have a Shabbat Shalom from Westfield and Springfield and Garwood. We also have someone watching from their car. I hope hopefully when not when they're driving um, as they are delivering halas to the, our community tonight as well. So Shabbat Shalom everyone. We continue with the words of Shalom Alechem. Shalom, Alechem, 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 Alechem,
We prepare to bring light to our world by lighting Shabbat candles. I also invite you to share maybe something that brought you joy this past week. Maybe it was a small thing or a big thing, a birthday or an anniversary. We would love for you to share those in the chat box so we can celebrate and bring extra light into our world. Some of the sweetness in our community this week has been Jen White's birthday, happy birthday. Annette Raddick was able to sit outside with her neighbors. Audrey Fish uh, secured social work interns for her organization more than bootstraps. She's very excited, congratulations. Elaine Morgenthal shared that Allie is home from Austin for a bit. Uh, Lauren Lacanti is Mazel Tov to all of the Temple Emanuel graduates. Um, Sylvia and Howard Cohen uh, say Shabbat Shalom and uh, Howard is celebrating his birthday on Monday. So we wish you a very Shabbat Shalom, all of you. And so that adds a lot of sweetness. Um, oh yes, and thank you, Brett. Um, uh, Brett Harris shared that we welcome new officers and board um, at our annual, annual congregational meeting this past Wednesday as well. Um, we continue with the sweetness of Shabbat by uh, raising our kiddush cups and rising for Kiddush. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Borit peri hagafen. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher kiddushanu b'mitzvotav, Beratzavanu, Beshabbat kochu, Beahava uvratzon, Inchilanu, Zikaron lemaase vereshit Ihu yom techila lemikra he kodesh Zecher litziat mitzrayim Ivanu vacharta Beotanu kidashta mikol hamim Veshabbat kodshecha beahava uvratzon inchartanu Baruch atah Adonai Mekadesh HaShabbat Amen
Chaim. Chaim, a couple of other nice things have come in. Esther and Eli's 60th anniversary, Mazel Tov. Uh, my son Caleb finished pre-K, which is pretty amazing, graduated from that. And Paul Meshes um, and Amy shared that they had their first socially distanced dinner outside with friends, and that felt really good. Please be seated. We begin with some of our senior reflections from Madeline Cohen. Hi everyone. So I'm gonna share one of my favorite memories. One of my favorite memories throughout my years at the temple was our confirmation trip. We had the opportunity to attend a four day seminar at the Religious Action Center in Washington, DC. Throughout the year with my class, I attended seminars, discussions, and simulations to dive deeper into social justice issues that are important to me, like equal rights, reproductive health, mental health, and common sense gun laws. I learned ways that teenagers can lead the conversation before they can even vote. We had discussions about abortion laws and held mock rallies for common sense gun laws to understand both sides of the debate. The seminar culminated with me lobbying for reproductive rights. After returning home from this trip, our temple received a call from, from the office of Congressman Leonard Lance, explaining how ex impressed his staff was with our speeches and that he personally wanted to come visit our temple and debate with us. The next week, we sat side by side cordially speaking about abortion laws. Although he and I have opposing political views on many issues and associate with different parties, being able to be taken seriously as a 16 year old by someone with so much power was incredible. This experience allowed me to truly realize how valuable my voice is and how to properly use it. I am thankful for all the opportunities that my time at the temple has given to me and to everyone who has helped me along the way. Hi. I have learned a lot throughout my time at Temple Emmanuel, from teaching fifth graders prayers on Sunday mornings as a Madri Cha to leading Gesher Lakesher discussions on Tuesday nights, I have learned how to become an effective leader. From lobbying Leonard Lance on a gun violence prevention bill to saying my I believe statement at my confirmation, I have learned how to voice my opinion and stand up for what I believe in. From fixing a garden and packaging food at Second Harvest Food Bank on the New Orleans mission trip, to cleaning up Lenape Park and handing out soup on a cold morning with mitzvah corps, I've learned the importance of helping others. From trips to Camp Harlem to crazy stories told by Moradora, I've learned how to bond with people of all different ages to form strong relationships and friendships. Despite heading to Pittsburgh next year, I know I will always have my Temple Emmanuel community and I will carry all of the lessons I've learned here with me for life. Hi there. Uh, when I moved back to New Jersey, I was not sure that I wanted to attend Hebrew school. I already had my bar mitzvah, but I decided to attend to see if I could find a new community. Temple Emmanuel provided me with a community of people that came to Hebrew school looking to learn like I was. I made many lifelong friends, found my favorite job I've ever had, and felt a new connection with my Jewish community that I will treasure moving forward in my life. The trip to DC convinced me that I wanted to work in a field where I could be an activist, the temple provided me my first opportunity to tour Tulane, and I was convinced from that moment that it was the school for me. Thank you to all of the staff at Temple Emanuel for allowing me to find my Jewish identity. Hi, everyone. Temple Emanuel has always been an integral part of my life since I was named on the BIMA almost 19 years ago. I began me and my shadow classes at 18 months and have continued my Jewish education straight through Cafe Torah today. While experiences like lobbying in DC and repairing New Orleans are unforgettable and meaningful, I will truly cherish the friendships and community I've built there. Growing up with my Jewish peers has created a bond that I know will remain strong as we move into this next chapter of our lives. I am incredibly grateful to all of my teachers and clergy for instilling in me the love of Judaism I will carry with me through life. We continue our service with the Hatsi Kaddish on page 144. Bagala, Bagala, 
Bu vizmahan tahrif değmir o. Amin. Ye eşme raba mevarak. Le olamul olme olmaya. Git barak. Git barak fiş tabak. Git bar git roman ve git nase. Git adar ve git ale. Git alal. Şimdi kudüşa rüydü. Le ehilla. Kabir hata ve şirata. Tuş ve hata. Le ne hemata. Daha miran be olma. Bimru. Amin. Please rise. Arehu et Adonai Amevorach Baruch Adonai Amevorach Laolam Baeh Baruch Ata Adonai Elohinu Melech Elam Asher Bidvaro Ma'ariv Aravim the Chokma Poteach Sha'arim, Uvi Runa Mishane Itim, Umacharif et Hazmanim, Umesader et Achokabim, Bimishron Team Barakir Kirtono, Bere Yom Balala Golea or Mipne Hoshech, the Hoshech Mipne or Uma Avir Yom Uvin Lila, Uma Dio Ben Yom Uvin Lila, and a night Sefa Ochimo, El Chai Vikayam Tami Gimloch Alenu Leolam Baed, Baruch Atadonai. Hamariv Arabim. I share this reading from my friend Rabbi Jen Gubitz. As our world suffers, sickened by this virus, we pray. Inoculate our hearts with fortitude. Dismantle system systemic racism. Inject our souls with compassion to love, and then to love harder. Mitigate our structures of power against abuse, exploitation, and violence. Protect our siblings among us and beyond, beloved humans who lay bleeding in our streets. Strengthen those wearied by oppression with renewed energy, tenacity, hope, and rest. Fortify our hearts to listen deeply and amplify the voices of black people, of brown people, of indigenous people everywhere. Immunize us, O oh source of healing. Immunize us against the viral historic hate. Course through our veins courage and conviction to reckon with our implicit bias, to ap apologize for our role in the pain, to fight to end this oppression. Vaccinate us, vaccinate us, O oh source of healing with the sacred power of love. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Evon Malchuto Laolam Please be seated. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha v'chol vavcha u'v'chol nafshicha u'v'chol me'odecha v'hayu advarim ha'ele asher anochi mitzavcha hayom al vavcha Veshinantam vanecha, vedibartaham, veshiftahav vetecha, uvrechtaha vaderech, uvshochtaha uvkumecha, uksartam leot daliadecha, vehayulatotafot, vein enecha, uchtaftaham, al misuzot vetecha, Uvisharecha, lema antiskeru, 
ועשיתם את כל מצוותיי, והייתם קדושים לאלוהיכם. אני אדוני אלוהיכם, אשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים, להיות לכם לאלוהים. אני אדוני אלוהיכם, אמת. Sing the song of men and women, joined in understanding and respect. The song of God's miracles in earth protected and cherished. A gift for our children and the generations to come. The song of a land once ravished by war, now quiet and content. Her, sol her soldiers home to leave no more. The song of a world redeemed. The song of praise.
continue with Vishamru. Temple Emmanuel has been crucial to my life and development from childhood to adulthood. The moral lessons I have learned from religious school, confirmation, cafe Torah, and working as a madrik will most certainly stick with me for the rest of my life. Even more importantly, the people that I have met through Temple Emmanuel, through the Temple Emmanuel community, will be close friends for life. A group of friends I first met when I was three years old at Temple at the Temple are still some of my closest friends right now. Some of my favorite memories include the exciting trips to Boston, Washington, D.C., and New Orleans that I went on with my peers, as well as the entire year of confirmation, learning, and my bar mitzvah. Fighting for change in our nation's capital, assisting locals still devastated by Hurricane Katrina, and reading prayers on the beam are all unforgettable experiences that would not have been possible without Temple Emmanuel. I would like to thank all of the Temple Emmanuel clergy, religious school teachers, and staff for making my time with the congregation special and impactful. I would especially like to thank Abra, Cantor Novik, Cantor Rubel, Rubel, Rabbi Prosnit, Mike, Rabbi Sagel for the impact they've had on my life. Oh, hi, Caleb. <laughs> also, um, I have grown up at Temple Emmanuel, and the Temple community has helped to forge me into the person that I am today. From preschool to dancing at Shabbat Hallelujah to spinning and learning at Camp Harlem to making connections with kids as a madracha, the temple community has provided a strong, safe space for my family, my friends, and me. Confirmation and Fun Club have challenged me to speak up and, will, and help me with my community. And the lessons that I've learned, learned and made at temple will be with me through every part of my life. Thank you. Johnny. Although I joined the Temple Emmanuel community a bit late, I am so glad that I did join. Everyone I have met was inviting and friendly to me. And I thoroughly enjoyed the programming Temple Emmanuel had to offer. I created memories with friends, whether it was on the several mission trips I was a part of or on a regular weeknight session. It was great to have a strong Jewish community within my field. I am looking forward to returning to Temple for holidays and any other time I'm in town. I have gained so much in my experience with Temple Emmanuel, and for that I am forever grateful. Temple Emmanuel will always be a part of me. 
It has taught me important lessons, influenced my values, gave me experiences I will cherish forever, and taught me the importance of community. I have met friends, inspired students, and have become a Jewish woman through the temple. The temple has shaped me into who I am today, and I am so thankful to the clergy, staff, and the friends who taught me so much. I will carry all that I have learned with me for the rest of my life. We continue our service with the Amidah. Please rise. We take the next few moments of silent prayer. When you are done praying, I invite you to be seated.
in our service we turn our prayers to those who need healing of mind body or spirit our synagogue community thinks of zalma medina gabby crafts buckman jeffrey carlin aaron taylor susan robb linda rabino arlene Furman, david bregman rabbi rob nussenchuk neil silverman susan klein linda fleischer don hirsch ruth bat yosef umiriam martin ostroff sharon niece pearl weitzman summer Curter. Lenny Silverman, Mason Rockmore, Emily Tucker, Jeremy Canterman, Mike Condone, Bernie Weinstein, Larry Maslow, Perry Shellman, Barry Sackowitz, Rochelle Spurgel, Martin Spurgel, Mike Blumenfeld, Samasai Billamy, Clive Brown, Marsha Brown, Judith Marks, Mayor Gittel, Marissa Fisher, Andy Secordis Diori, Kathleen Murphy, Ari Brockman, Nicasio Gritana. We also add to the Misha Barak list, Edith Lilly, Phyllis Cherwin, Claude Bleiss, David Stein, and Marvin Brouth. Yishaberach avotenu v'imotenu, anracham yitzach v'yakov, sarah ritcha rachel v'leya, hu yivarech et hacholim. May the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless and heal those who are ill. May the blessed Holy One be filled with compassion for their health to be restored and their strength to be revived. May God swiftly send them a complete renewal of body and spirit, and let us say, Amen. Amen. having some technical difficulties. A powerful uh, song, but we can't hear it, um, played by choir. So if not, we'll have to wait till next week to play it one more time. I'll try it one more time. We'll actually play a little later on in our service or maybe next week, but stay tuned. Um, that's a beautiful prayer to heal us now. And so we think of all those who need a little bit of healing of mind, body, and spirit, and together we say, Amen. We hear a couple more reflections from our seniors, Philip Tepper. My whole life at Temple Emmanuel has been surrounded by community. Whether it be going to religious school, doing community service, attending services, or being a boundary, the temple has taught me the power of community and why it is so important, especially in times like these. The temple has been a community that has had my back since I first walked through the doors in first grade and has been there for me every step of the way. As I head off to college, I go knowing that my temple community will always support me and that the doors will always be open for me when I come home. I want to thank the clergy, all of my religious school teachers, Abra and Mike, for everything they do. Thank you. Hi, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Brianna Worms. For 16 years, I've been a part of the Temple Emmanuel community and I'm only 18 years old. So once you do the math, you can see that I have been a part of this community for 89% of my life. I grew up here. Over my years 
in this community, I have seen the temple change, I have met new people, and I have seen the people around me grow and become the incredible graduating class that we are today. However, the one thing that has been constant at the temple is the feeling you get when you walk through the doors. From the time I was two until now, every time I walk into the temple, I am always greeted with a Shabbat Shalom, a smile, or a how are you, and I always feel welcomed and loved. Next year, I'll be attending James Madison University, where I hope to join Hillel so I can continue my Jewish journey. In addition, I would love to go on birthright one day. Thank you to everyone who has contributed to my Jewish identity, and I wish the best of luck to everyone next year. Thank you. Temple Emmanuel has given me some of the greatest opportunities, experiences, and friendships of my life. Whether it's learning a new song with my students as a madracha, dancing with my friends during services, or traveling to DC, there is never a dull moment. Some of my favorite memories include lobbying to our congressman, working at the religious school and in the infant room, and being a part of Mitzvah Corps, where we went to soup kitchens, packaged and handed out food bags to lo local communities in need, and cleaned up our environment. I want to thank all of my amazing teachers and all of the members of the clergy and staff who have helped me grow into the person I am today. Special shout out to Abra for helping me with my school projects and scholarship letters of rec, and for always cheering me on at volleyball games. I feel incredibly lucky to be a part of such an amazing community, and I can't wait to see all the paths we'll take. Many years back, there was an award created by a Temple member and past president, Elaine Weil, in memory of her husband, Donald M. Weil. It was an award because he was a gifted and talented writer, and it sparked our students to uh, check out their creativity and their creative writing skills. So it's my honor to turn it over to Elaine Weil to share some words. You just have to unmute you, Elaine. Can you hear me? Okay, good. Thank you so much, Rabbi. Um, so I would like to congratulate our contest winner, Maya. Um, the Donald M. Weil Creative Writing Award, as you said, Rabbi, was created, well, actually for a couple of reasons. Um, my husband, Donald, was a member of Temple Emmanuel for more than 45 years. And he recognized the tremendous importance that the synagogue had on our family. And it was also created because I saw over the years the enormous satisfaction he received from a lifetime of writing. And whether it be poetry or essays or song lyrics, and most of them were published, um, it, it just brought him such joy. To be inspired and to be able to create is clearly a gift. And it's a privilege not given to many people. Uh, but Maya, you certainly have that gift. <clears throat> Your essay, Science and Faith, is beautifully written and deeply insightful. I'd like to read this. This is how you end it, and I quote, it's Shabbat and the day of rest and reflection. I'm studying for an anatomy and physiology exam on neuron activity, and in the middle of all the diagrams and flashcards, quizzes and outlines, I feel my heart stretch that little bit toward God. Your readers will also find their hearts stretch a bit closer to God. And so I thank you for that, Maya, and again, my congratulations. Mazel tov. Thank you, Elaine. We have uh, in the chat box, we have uh, linked Maya's entire piece of writing uh, to our website. So you can click that and read her entire piece. But Mazel tov and Elaine, uh, thank you uh, for your dedication and your leadership to our synagogue and your words tonight. Thank you. Mazel tov to Maya and thank you to Elaine for helping us to inspire our youth through the beautiful memory of Donald's work. Thank you. We, uh, we use memory to honor and mark many milestones. And a few years ago, uh, some friends from the men's club came into my office during our youth learning and engagement meeting and told us that they wanted to create a little special award. 
something to remember a very special member of our Temple Emanuel family. Um, since I was still newer to the Temple Emanuel family at the time, I turned to Jackie Hernandez and, um, and I said, how would, we, how would we honor him? You knew this student very well. And she said, he always looked out for others. So you have to find one of the Madrachim who plays that special role for one student, somebody who um, really needs a special friend, someone to look out for them. Uh, so we created this award, the David J. Kabakow Award, to honor one of our outstanding Madrachim each year who plays that role. And it is my honor to welcome the Cabacows, who will share a little bit more about the award and who will share with you who we are honoring tonight. Okay, we're working on unmuting you, Mark. There we there are. Shabbat go. shalom, all. Shabbat shalom. This award goes to Morgan Rollins. Morgan, you never met our son, David, but from what I've learned about you in the last week or so from Abra and Samantha, I'm sure that the two of you would have been good friends. David was assigned difficult students who struggled with their learning and some had health issues. And I know you have a special student that you've been working with for a number of years. David was kind, warm, and a very caring person. And we understand that you share that too. David was our only child. He loved people and would talk to anybody younger or older and made them feel like they'd been friends for a long time, even though they had just met. He always rooted for the underdog and helped the underdog. We know that you're a very good student and are graduating from Westfield High School and next year you'll be attending UMass and in the pre-veterinary program. Congratulations. As we are sure that your parents and whole family are very proud of you and that all you've accomplished so far we are sure that you're destined for great things. It is our honor to present you with the David J. Kabakow Madrich Student Aid of the Year Award. In addition to this clock, I don't know, your name will be engraved in a board of past winners which sits outside of Abra's office. Oh, there it is. So this, your name plate will also be outside of Abra's office on the board of past winners. It will be there when, as soon as we can all go into the temple and see it for ourselves. Congratulations and mazel tov, Morgan. Mazel tov. Thank you so much. I am extremely honored to be receiving this award in memory of such an amazing Madrahim and student that I unfortunately never had the privilege to meet. And um, I thank you guys, and I thank everyone who's helped me in this journey. And um, I really hope that I can celebrate Emma's bat mitzvah with her soon when we reopen and all of this ends, really. <laughs> so thank you. And um, yeah. Mazel tov to Morgan. Thank you. And Emma is, uh, was Morgan's uh, student. She's been working with for the past four years. She was supposed to have her bomb on June 20th. Um, we've delayed it a little bit, but hopefully we'll be able to be in the building uh, very soon so we can celebrate that special day. Mazel tov to all of our seniors. It's really a special night to be able to be here to celebrate and honor you. And as the school year is starting to wind down a little bit, I finally slowed down a bit last night to take a little downtime with my family. We were reminiscing about some of our favorite movies from the days when I was still taller than Max and Mackenzie. A phrase from one of those Lee family favorite movies is often shared at this time of year when we mark milestones and times of transition, such as graduation. And while my children and an adorable panda named Poe learned this phrase from a wise master Ugwe, most adults will actually remember and attribute this to the author of the Family Circle cartoon from way back in the 90s when people used to actually read their news on real paper, um, yet the actual author is unknown. When Poe's learning culminates in a pivotal moment of this movie, 
he finally has the chance to put all of his lessons into action. He's feeling uncertain about the road that lies ahead. And he's thinking about the awesome task of rising to the occasion. His teacher comes to him and advises him not to be so overly concerned about what was or what will be. Master Uwe says to him, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery. Today is a gift. And that's why we call it a presence. Each day is a gift. We should cherish every day, making the most of every moment, even and especially when those moments are not the way we think they will be. These months we've been physically distant from one another, but very much connected to each of you. And today truly is a gift for Temple Emmanuel, because even though your milestones have not looked the way we expected, we've been hearing from all of you the impact that this community has had. And as you can tell, the impact that you've had on me personally. And so class of 2020, as your words have brought joy and love into our homes and our hearts, we honor and we celebrate you. We want you to accept our most humble thanks for the gifts that you have shared by being present with us. We also have a gift to share with you, just as Temple Emmanuel has embraced you and surrounded you with warmth and a loving community for so many years. When you move on, you will take with you a cozy and warm fleece blanket with a symbol of Temple Emmanuel that will continue to share the warmth even when we are apart. So be on the lookout for information from Samantha on how and when you will be receiving your gift. But for now, one more gift as our clergy offers you a blessing to guide you on your way. May God bless you and keep you. Antonovic shared her blessing. She's muted, but I know she meant it. May God's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. You want to do it again, Kantronovic? No, it's okay. <laughs> and may God grant you the greatest gift of peace. Amen. Amen. And if we can uh, do another screenshot of all of our uh, graduating seniors, uh, that would be wonderful. Um, and if your grown-ups are around you, I would love to, for them to uh, come into the square with all of uh, all of you um, as we offer another blessing to. Um, this is a really special moment because this is the, um, I feel like I've been, I wasn't at your baby name but I was at many of your B'nai Mitzvah, uh, part of confirmation. I was. Yes, so, yes, um, and so I, and now your graduation. And I just want you to all know that um, Temple Emmanuel, I hope is always your home. Um, and that you can always come back and always feel this uh, specialness that you've shared tonight with all of us through your reflections. Um, and so while we're not here together um, in person, um, it's really lovely to be with your families, uh, to be with your uh, siblings, to be with your dog even as well, um, as we get to uh, just celebrate all that you have done and all have you given to the synagogue. And so I offer it, I want the final blessing. Holy source of blessing. We gather to celebrate the achievement of these young men and women as we congratulate them on their success. We ask God's blessing for this new chapter of their new life. We ask that God bless them with strength and wisdom, open minds and caring hearts, safety and good judgment. Yehi ratzon nefanecha Adonai Eloheinu velohei avotenu v'imotenu 
may it your will, our God and God of our ancestors, that you deliver them from any harm, misfortune, and trouble that they may find on their journey. May you empower the works of their hands. May they continue to act with kindness and compassion for others. And wherever their journey takes them, to find the happiness of love, of friendship, and of community. And together we say, Amen. Amen. And so we wish all of you a nice new adventure. Um, and uh, we hope that all of you get to go to school uh, in, the, uh, in the fall, in the summer, um, and that you will have uh, not just virtual classes, but in-person classes as well. Um, and we can't wait to really continue to connect with you um, at, uh, throughout your college years as well. And thank you to the parents and families as well. Just a plug, we'd like to uh, remain connected to our stu uh, college students. Uh, Samantha Eicher runs our college program. Uh, we send uh, gifts on during the high uh, holidays to our students, as well as this year, we'll be sending absentee ballots to make sure that you can vote as well. We continue our service on page 376, a prayer for our congregation. Please join me. O oh, guardian of life and liberty, may our nation always merit your protection by sharing it with those who are in need. Keep our eyes open to the wonders of creation and alert to the care of the earth. May we never be lazy in the work of peace. May we honor those who have died in defense of our ideals. Grant our leaders wisdom and forbearance. May they govern with justice and compassion. Help us all to appreciate one another and to respect the many ways that we may serve you. May our homes be safe from affliction and strife, and our country be sound in body and spirit. And together we say, Amen. And a prayer for Israel, a heavenly one, protector and redeemer of Israel. Bless the state of Israel, which marks the dawning of hope for all who seek peace. Send your light and truth to all who lead and advise. Guide them with your good counsel. Establish peace and land and fullness of joy for all who dwell there. And together we say, Amen. Amen. We rise for the words of Elenu, page 586. Alenu le shabach la don hakol, la teit gedula le otzer breshit, shelo asanu kagoye ha aratzot, velo samanu de mishpachot ha adama. Shelo sam chelke nu kahem, ve gohor alenu, kechol hamonam, banachnu korim, umishtachadim, umodim, ifne melech, malche hamlachim, hakadosh baruch hu. Rise up like the sun, O God, over all humanity. Cause light to go forth over all the lands between the seas. And light up the universe with joy of wholeness, of freedom, and of peace. Thoughts turn to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people whose graves are unmarked, and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. As we remember them, we meditate on the meaning of love and loss, of life and death. If you are remembering a loved one, I invite you to write their name in the chat box. We recall members of our temple community who have died in the last 30 days. Nicholas Gold, son of Fran and Dan. Gordon Harris, father of Meredith Rothenberg. Gerald Gelber, husband of Joan Gelber, father of David Gelber. Richard Lacey, father of Elaine Gannon. Cynthia Clark, mother of Ernie Clark. Remember the, loved, uh, the anniversary, the, the yard sites of our loved ones' deaths. Frida Bach, David Berkowitz, 
Ida Bernstein, Morris Blakesburg, Sam Boyar, Marna Burkhart, Hannah Burnett, Leslie Cohen, Molly Grosser Cohen, Bradley Kustin, Mo, Mo Farber, Jacob Feldman, Vivian Finkel, Miriam Fleisch, Herbert Faust, Larry Gehrig, Ida Grant, Erwin Gerland, Sanford Gutentag, Ruth Gutman, Clara Heller, Arnold Holtzman, Lenore Horowitz, Herb Jarecki, Alan Jason, Lillian Katz, Oscar Kendler, Jack Kessler, Joseph Kligman, Monroe Lafkowitz, Cynthia Minkin, Herta Morgenthal, Louis Motel, Linda Navy, Louis Neubauer, Gloria Reich, Bess Reichman, Rose Rubin, Doris Sabernick, Libby Savid, Harry Schechtman, David George Schaffman, Sylvia Schwartz, Irving Sedwood, Kenneth Schaffman, Annie G. Smith, Mo Steinberg, Elliot Tannenbaum, Estelle Tasman, Jacob Tolkoff, Louis Turk, Claire Ouston, Gerald Walpin, Max Wasserman, Nathan Woopsy, Louis Wurzel, Aaron Zavaro, Sarel Zucker, Ike Bender. We also add the names of Urban Walk, Rose Rubin, Erna Kane, William Barron, Lawrence Rosner, Amelia Fernandez, Florence Osenborn, Esme J. Prasad, Molly Hyde. Molly Hyde. We also remember this is the fourth anniversary of the Pulse Night Shooting in Orlando, and those names of George Floyd, Breonna Teller, Ahmed Aubrey. We turn to the words of Mourners Kaddish. Please rise. May the one who creates harmony on high and bring peace to us and all of Israel. As together we say, Amen. And just a comforting note that um, for those who are saying yard sites and those who might have uh, plaques and lights in our sanctuary, uh, Mike Kenny every uh, week does light each of those uh, lights up um, so we can remember our loved ones in that way as well. As we conclude, I would invite us to um, uh, update our panelists, uh, everyone in the waiting room to become panelists. Just a few quick announcements. Um, uh, first off, Mazel Tov to the class of 2020. We are so proud of you. We sorry we can't be there in person, but um, we are, uh, your words tonight were wonderful. Elaine, uh, thank you. The Cabocal family, thank you as well for just um, your words tonight and your remembrance of your loved ones. Uh, the last thing is, oh, I have a, a surprise guest down here. Thank you. Um, as well as um, there's a couple of great events coming up. Uh, please check your calendars for upcoming events to join us um, next week virtually as well. Somebody just had a shower. I just wanted to say that this is a song that I have lived with most of my life. Uh, I think it's so important that we continue to sing it through the generations because it means so much that we will walk hand in hand and we shall overcome God willing someday. So please join me.
Shabbat Shalom. Have a wonderful weekend. Uh, Simchat Shabbat tomorrow, as well as Tat Shabbat, um, and um, our morning minion and holy scrollers. Shut up, Lauren. Are these your people that are on, maybe, listening? Is that Allie? Congratulations. Beautiful service. Thank you, seniors. Allie and from Austin. Isn't this, isn't this, it's over, isn't it? Yes. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Love of my life. <sighs> you guys are the best. Just the best. We'll miss you so much. No, 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 I thought we were going to create Temple Emanuel University so they never had to leave. What happened to that idea? <laughs> You're the educational director for another few weeks. <laughs> I can totally do that. I can whip up a university really fast. I mean, anybody could. Are you opening in the fall? Um, we will be opening, but we will not be opening our dormitories. Oh, man. I don't think that Mike wants us all sleeping at the temple every night. You don't want them all at your house? Oh my God, is that possible? Can we do that? <laughs> that would be, so Aubrey's house will be the dining hall. <laughs> Oh my God, I love to cook. I'm totally I'm gonna, gonna open the here. dining hall oh, yeah, here. If you're you making go. balls, can I go back to college? <laughs> oh yeah. Shabbat shalom, everybody. Shabbat shalom. See you guys. Shabbat Morgan. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Shabbat shalom. Hi, Easy. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Bye now. Shabbat shalom. Bye, Bye. Bye. Shabbat shalom, everybody. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Hey, Paul and Amy. <laughs> More Hannah. Love yeah, Hannah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alexis, thank you for remembering Moradora. Oh, <laughs> my heart. Yes, yes, definitely. That was beautiful. But they, but they were all beautiful. Dory. Oh, bro.